Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Libraries are collections of folders that contain files of a selected type. The libraries you receive by default in Windows 10 are Camera Roll, Documents, Music, Pictures, Saved Pictures, and Videos. However, note that libraries are hidden by default in Windows 10. So to view your libraries in File Explorer in Windows 10, click the View tab in the ribbon. Then in the Panes button group, click the Navigation Pane drop-down button and select the Show Libraries command to display the libraries. This will place a check mark next to the command within that button's drop-down menu. You can also select the same command again to hide the display of the libraries in the future if desired. You can then click the Libraries folder in the left pane of the File Explorer window to view your libraries in the right pane of the File Explorer window. These libraries contain different folders you commonly use to save files of that type within your computer. That way you can simply open the associated library folder to view all of the subfolders and files within all of the folders associated with that library. You can add other folders to these libraries to be able to search and back up the files within them using Windows. Note that subfolders contained within existing library folders are already considered part of that library, so you will not need to add those to the definition of the library. However, you can add other folders in your computer to the libraries if needed and perform other library management tasks using File Explorer. You can add a folder within your computer's hard drive, a USB drive, OneDrive, or a connected network folder to your library as long as the folder is capable of being indexed and the device, if external, is connected to your computer. You cannot add a folder within a CD or DVD drive or any network attached storage drives to a library. You also cannot add individual files to a library, only folders. To add a folder to a library, navigate to the folder you want to add to the library using File Explorer until you can see the folder displayed in the right pane. Then right-click the folder to add to the library and roll over the Include in Library command in the pop-up menu that appears. Then click the name of the library to which you want to add the selected folder within the side menu that appears. You can manage your libraries to remove folders from libraries and set the default folder into which to save items for each library. To manage libraries in Windows 10, display the libraries in your computer in the right pane of the File Explorer window. Then click the library you want to manage in the right pane of the File Explorer window to select it. When you select a library, you will see the new Library Tools contextual tab appear in the ribbon. Click this tab to view the library management options you have. You can click the Manage Library button in the Manage button group on the Library Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Library Locations dialog box. This dialog box shows the names of all the folders that have been added to the selected library. To remove a folder you have added to a library, click its name within this list and then click the Remove button to the right. To add folders to this library, Click the Add button to the right to open an Include Folder dialog box that lets you navigate to the folder to include. Click it to select it in this dialog box and then click the Include Folder button. Within each library, one folder is marked Public Save Location and one is marked Default Save Location. They may even be the same folder. The folder marked as the default save location is where your computer will default to saving items of that library type when logged in using your current account. The folder marked as the public save location is where items of that library type will default to being saved when someone is logged in using a guest account. To set which folder is the default save and which is the public save within this dialog box, right click the folder to set as a default save location for either choice and then select either the Set as Default Save Location or... Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.